Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech. And if you remember the other day, I helped you create a sweet toolbox, and then I challenged you to create your own tools. Friends, I'm here to create one with you. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So I've taught for more than 30 years, and as I work with students, I've noticed that I've got this little chalkboard in the sky that I can look at and think about, and things make sense. But not everybody does. But when I tell you to make a screwdriver, that'll be the first one we're going to build today. I can look at this and just picture the little pieces it's made of. I can see a sphere, maybe a hexagon or an octagon. I'll have to count the sides to see how many there are. I can see a cylinder with a tube cut out, and then I can see a hexagon of some sort and then have the edges cut off. Those things are just in my brain. But I want you guys to start practicing looking at pieces and then seeing what the little pieces are. If you're making a saw, think of what little pieces make it. If you're making a nail, think of the little pieces that make that. Get a rough shape made and then use other pieces to cut off shape and make your object way more awesome. So friends, let's real quickly build a screwdriver. You may notice that my red toolbox is now brown. That is because I double clicked and picked different colors inside it. Uh, don't forget you can do that to make it look as cool as you want. And then I chose the multicolor when I was finished so that it stayed one piece, but also had all the cool colors. I am going to hide it at this moment so that it's out of my way by simply hitting a little light bulb. So I'm gonna make mine out of a polygon. I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna stretch it. And then I want you to type the number 25 for how big I think that should be. You could make one different, but I think that's a good grip for us to hold on to. Now that we've got this set at 25, I'm gonna stretch the length to 60. So when I did shift, it did them all to that 25 size, which you can see that's how they measured it. And then when we just click on the one, it changes that length. Remember, there was a sphere that was squished on top. Let's add that real quickly by doing work plane, clicking on the top, finding our sphere, and setting it there. I'm just going to squish it a little, and then I'm going to use a line to align them. When I click it, I can choose, and I'm gonna use an angle so I can see this better, middle and middle. And then I'm gonna sync this in by doing control down arrow, three or four clicks. Just like that, you've got the start of a screwdriver. If you want it to be a little larger, you can hold down shift and you can stretch it to find the exact amount you would like. Let's put the work plane on the ground and let's click on our polygon. Check it out, it's got something called bevel. If we put a two and we put one segment, Look at that, it chisels that out so it looks a little bit sweeter on the edge. I'm gonna try five for the amount of bevel and I like that even more. I'm gonna take those two items and I'm going to group them. And then I'm gonna lift them in the air. I'm gonna bring out that cylinder piece that was underneath on ours. I'm gonna hold down shift and stretch it a little and I'm gonna type the number 25 there as well. I want to make sure that it's really round, so I'm going to do all the 64. I'm going to give it a bevel of 2 as well. And this one, I'm going to put a 5 and press Enter. Let's line everything up by selecting them, clicking a line. I'm going to click on the blue one and make it the master, and just choose middle and middle. Remember, it's easier to see those quite often from the corner. I'm going to lift this up to the right height just using the cone. Notice you can also do control up. I'm gonna leave a little gap because we're gonna put the screwdriver part in there as well. Let's go down and find the awesome torus. When you bring out the torus, hold down shift and we're gonna type 45 for that number and we're gonna make it a hole. We wanna select the torus and the cylinder we're gonna click a line and make the cylinder the master. And we want middle and middle and middle. I'm gonna make my torus taller. And then I'm gonna do that align again. You can make this custom. Master is gonna be the cylinder. And when I hit group, we've got that cool little rounded shape that was in the middle. I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm gonna lift them up a little higher. 
Let's bring out another polygon, but this time we're going to hold shift and shrink it. We're going to type the number 12. We're going to make it a little skinnier. And we're going to stretch it nice and long. I'm going to make it a gray so it looks like the blade of a screwdriver. Let's lift everything up a little higher so we've got more room to work. And let's click a line so those are all centered. I'm going to let the little one on the bottom be the master and just click center and center. Make sure that it sticks in. And then I'm going to hit D to drop it down to the ground. Now notice there's a gap. If you click just on the shape, you can find its white handle and you can stretch it way up in so it's connected where you want. All right, friends, let's make the blade super quickly by bringing out a wedge, rotating it 90 degrees. Notice I just click the box and I type it. I'm going to nudge this close to the shape, and then I'm going to change this measurement to 4. So it's got a real steep angle. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to do duplicate. I'm going to take the other one and nudge it to the other side, and I'm going to flip it. When I bring those close together, let's zoom in really close. We want to leave one spot in between them. So then I'm going to hold down one, click shift, hold down the other, and I'm going to group those two parts. I'm going to make them a hole. And then let's select those two pieces, choose a line, make the gray one the master, make sure it's centered. And when you hit group, Friends, you have just cut off the end of your sweet screwdriver. I'm going to select the entire tool, and I'm going to choose group. And then we need to always make sure it stays looking awesome by putting multicolor. You can adjust your measurements as you want. You could make another one. You, you could also do the challenge of trying to make a Phillips screwdriver. If we hit the light bulb, you can see our screwdriver is in place, and now I'm going to rotate it putting the work plane on the bottom and hitting D and boom. Work plane back to normal. You have just added a sweet screwdriver to your toolbox. All right, friends, so I hope you understand the secret of this project was to pick one up, take a look at it. You could actually measure it so you had the exact right measurements, but the end result is to make something awesome that you can be proud of in your toolbox. Of course, friends, if you do make something awesome, don't forget you can use that sweet send to to generate a link. Copy that link and share it with me at HLMontech on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or you could also send me one at Gmail. I am HLMontech there as well. Lastly, you can go to the website HLMontech.com and you could use the messaging button to let me see what awesome things you made there as well. Of course, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting? for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day